Hey guys, Tamago here. So, we all know about Netflix originals, Hulu originals, even YouTube originals, right? But before any of these were even a thing, there were PlayStation Network originals. Yes, back in 2010, Sony Computer Entertainment produced their own set of original programming available exclusively on the PlayStation Network. Now I say programming, it was one show in particular, The Tester. Now what would this be? Maybe an animated sitcom about a goofy but lovable group of games testers? Or maybe a gritty drama about a uh, games tester gone rogue? I'm sure that's something that Sony could relate to especially right now. Well both of those are great options, but let's keep it real, ain't no way the budget for this show was going to be enough to hire talented animators, writers, or actors. So so what's the next best thing? A reality TV show of course. You get 11 contestants, you put them in a house together, and you have them compete in challenges to see who has what it takes to be the next PlayStation games tester. It's genius. It's genius! Ain't never been a show like it. Now I first watched this show when I was around like 11 years old. Hello guys, Tamago here. My next piece of news is about The Tester. Be sure to watch it. It's an awesome show. I really liked it. I was hooked to the show. But, you know, 10 years have passed. Some could say I'm 10 years wiser now. And something tells me the show isn't going to hold up as well as it used to. So I thought, you know, why not put it to the test? Let's actually watch it. So without further ado, let's check out PlayStation's The Tester. Oh my god, the memories! <laughs> Exactly. My tag is start. I am here to get my dream job as a PlayStation tester. These people, they are so screwed. Like, they have no idea. I am a pro gamer. <laughs> She's a pro gamer? <laughs> I'm basically the top ranking female in the world. Like, I'm getting this job. The way they cut this show is so weird. Like, there's no way she actually just said, I am the top ranking female in the world with no other context. Like, what do you mean? You're like in all games? I'm your host, Meredith Molinari, and I'm gonna be with you throughout this whole experience. The 11 of you standing before me were selected from thousands of applicants to compete in a once in a lifetime opportunity and land the coveted job of the next PlayStation game tester. I mean, I'm sure there were thousands of applicants, right? Who doesn't wanna be on a, you know, PlayStation TV show or whatever. But once in a lifetime opportunity, come on. Along with a $5,000 signing bonus. Okay. All right, now we're talking. Yeah. I went to college for graphic design and animation. This guy sounds so disappointed. Like He's like, I went to college. How did I end up here? <laughs> I, I love to play video games already. I can get paid to do it. Everything is falling into place with this opportunity, so I really want it. I mean, to be fair, like getting paid to play video games is a dream, but like being a games tester, you're spending like 90% of your time just running into walls, seeing if they break. Now in the coming days, you guys are gonna compete in some difficult challenges and face heartbreaking eliminations. Until so one of you can prove you have what it takes to join the- <laughs> <laughs> that guy's dressed like he's expecting an actual job interview. See you guys later. Enjoy. This place. You guys run in. He was like, yeah, I'm off. Gotta go fast. There was PlayStation systems all over the place. TVs, HD, Bravia. I mean, whoa. So you mean what? I mean, whoa. What? Whoa. Ah. Yes. Turn it to. Yes. I'm yes. Right. It's awesome how big this house is. I wasn't expecting that at all. Bro, there are 11 of you. If the house wasn't that big, that would be a major problem. So I got my official PlayStation badge and I'm not letting go of this thing. I don't really feel like that decision is up to you, frankly. Nice to meet you. Nice. I'm Amped. Amped. Big dog. Big D. Yeah, you met me already. Oof. When we first got to the loft, I was mostly concerned with checking things out, and so I stepped back and let them all interact. Bro, you already know this guy's gonna be that one loner of the series. I stepped back and let them all interact like he's watching from his high tower above. Let them interact? You have a face for TV, I have a face for radio. That's a whole different thing. Someone must have died or something to get my- Bro, what is he doing? 
What is he doing? Why not talk to them? You're gonna be living with these people. You don't wanna know who they are? What is he reading? Well, what could he possibly be reading? It looks like the instruction manual for a PS3 game. That's like moving in with a roommate at university. You don't introduce yourself. You're like, sorry, I'm I'm too busy reading the instruction manual for Little Big Planet. My idea right now is just to keep an eye on who everyone is and how am I going to beat them? This guy has to be fake. They planted this guy. Bro, how are you gonna gather intel if you don't talk to them? Meeting the competition, the uh, the group is very, very diverse. I bet this guy's not even a doctor. You just play games? Oh, That's it? Oh, you're ranked for Guitar Hero, aren't you? Wait, 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 you're, you're no, she is, right? dude. <laughs> Busted. You know, I did recognize Star. It took me a second, but she was the world ranked Guitar Hero girl. Okay, so that's what she meant from before. She's the top ranking female guitar hero player in the world. I don't blame her for that. I have a feeling she would have said that in the interview and then they edited it out and it just made it sound weird. I'm the top ranking person in the world. What? The reason why I don't really want anybody to know who I am is because I don't want them to really think I'm a threat because then I could be like the first one out. She's obviously got dexterity skills and she's got hand-eye coordination, which means she's got to be taken out quickly. <laughs> I just love this like strategy talk that's going on. She's got them dexterity skills. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you're like trying to get a job as a games tester, I would hope you would in the very least know your way around a controller. Dexterity skills. Come on now. Oh my guys! We got a message! We got a message! Yeah, come on! Okay, so the way that the show producers interact with the contestants is by sending them messages to a PS3. And the funny thing is with like this show and even other shows where stuff like that happens, is it's so obvious that they were told hey, tell everyone to shout out that there's a message. It's not like he stumbled upon it on the PlayStation. The PlayStation wasn't even on. This dude was reading an instruction manual. But whatever, that's reality TV for you. I'm still convinced this guy's planted anyway. Performing well in your first challenge is critical. Keep your eye on the prize, or your game may be over before it's begun. I'm telling you, it's eye of the beholder. No, dude, it's eye of judgment. All right, so they're trying to figure out what game they're going to be playing. And from what I remember, they're not... They're about to be kind of disappointed. I'm getting really excited for the upcoming competition. I really want to see how good everyone else is. I've met them. I like them all already in the sense that I'm sure I can get along with them, but I really want to see how easily it'll be to beat them. You know, I'm wishing, I'm wishing him the best. I'm wishing him the best because it seems like... <laughs> bro, this guy makes me laugh. I don't know. Welcome to the tester lab. I walk into the challenge and all there is is a killer chair out of the movie The Dentist and some giant 30 foot screen with zero controller, console, wires, nothing. I'm ready to change my shorts, man. Dude, it's a chair and a projector screen, relax. In each episode, you'll compete in challenges designed to test the essential skills required of a PlayStation game tester. It's a little overwhelming, actually. This guy's name is actually Big D. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything, it's fine. Is that one of the essential requirements of being a PlayStation games tester? The losers, however, will be up for elimination from our esteemed panel. Representing PlayStation, Mr. Brent Goki, the release manager for the global platform First Party Quality Assurance. All right, so this guy's basically gonna be your boss if you win. I'd like to introduce you to someone who knows a thing or two about quality gaming. He is an actor, comedian, and total gamer, Mr. Hal Sparks. Hey, what's happening? So it said this guy was an actor, right? And I just felt like I'd seen him before. It was just a vague thing. I'm like, yo, I recognize this guy's face. So I, I searched the name, right? Hal Sparks. And in the Google page, it says he's been in Spider-Man 2. And I'm like, yo, this was the guy in the elevator with Spider-Man. See, this is the guy. That's him. Okay, House Fox, I see you. Our special guest judge for today, please welcome Mr. Petro Piasetsky. Okay, I remember, they'd always have a special guest judge for each episode, but honestly, I thought Mr. Spider-Man 2 would be the special guest. I mean, come on. We're going to test you on a skill that every game tester must possess, a critical eye. So you're going to be shown a series of matching images. Now, they may look identical at first, but you have to look closely because there are differences within. Okay, so they're gonna be playing spot the difference. So I'm alone in this room with a panel of judges that I just met, this giant screen and this intimidating chair. I'm scared. To be fair, I can't imagine how this would be awkward. I mean, the judges aren't even facing the screen, they're facing him. So it is a bit weird, like. On your mark, get set, go. There's a star next to the L in the left picture. 
There's a five instead of a two in the left picture. So they have them all do this spot the difference quiz. And there's a recurring theme that comes up during the interviews, which is that they all thought they'd be playing, you know, like an actual game. I came ready with the idea that I'm going to have a controller in my hand, a screen in front of me. I'm going to be controlling something, doing something proactive other than sitting and kind of picking things out. I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm scanning it, I'm spending time. I can feel it starting to burn in my head. I'm wasting too much time. I'm hungry. I'm looking at these pictures. I don't know what they're wanting me to do. I would say 25 seconds have just went by right now. Nauseous. How'd it take you that long, fam? I'm always wary of judging the contestants too hard because I know that the showrunners edit this to make them look worse than they are. But come on, bro. All right, fame girl, go. Okay, first thing I see is there's a five on- Bro. <laughs> Why is she writing a whole essay? Okay, so the first thing I have seen in this here picture, <laughs> the five and the two to start the quiz button. Next, you gotta be quick. There's a two on that one. Second thing is there's a- Second thing, uh, uh, whatever, man. Whatever, it's taking too long. There's a shield on the right side, not on the left side. I'm convinced the shield one only has one difference. Meredith said that they all had three, but if that's the case, how come they've only ever shown people noticing the shield and nothing else? It's a racket, I'm telling you. All right, Luge, please have a seat in the chair. I usually don't perform in front of judges. I mean, it's hardly a performance, is it? It's spot the difference. It's not even like, where's Wally? It's freaking, one of these things is not like the other. For some reason during the challenge, I completely froze up and I love difference games. Who loves difference games? I mean, you can like them, you can not mind them. You know, if, if you see it in the newspaper, okay, I'll do it. Who loves difference games? I'm sorry, but there's no one who's like, oh, you know what I could really go for right now? A difference game. Different color coffee on the left. It's just very nerve wracking. My palms are sweaty. I've never been that nervous in my whole life. Your whole, your whole life. You have never been this nervous in your whole life. She's gonna be at least like, what, 20 years old, right? Man, if you don't get out of here without bulls. How did you feel that you did? I was like, yeah, I didn't do very good. <laughs> That's what they actually I don't think my eyes have ever shifted. I think they get oh, it. Yeah. To be fair, I can't imagine it being a bit more of a challenge considering, you know, how close the chair is and how big the screen is. You would have to, like, look from left to right. The tester with the highest score will be safe from the elimination tonight. The rest of you are going to have to face the panel. So I'll let you guys know. Get ready to meet me in the tester lab and face your first elimination. That's one thing I find so funny about reality shows. They legit kick people out on day one. Imagine, you packed your bags. You caught a flight. You gave notice at work. Only to get kicked out on the first day. <laughs> nah, that's an L. That is an L right there. You didn't even get to see how comfy the bed was. The tester with the highest score is... Luge. All right, GG Luge. Was she able to find another difference in that shield one? Congratulations. You are safe from tonight's elimination. I'm so excited. I impressed the judges and I showed everyone what I can do. You can spot the difference very well. <laughs> it isn't all about the score and the challenge. We do have some other concerns, guys. Doc, you also probably could have scored higher. You spent a lot of time joking, saying I'm hungry and joking about what you're seeing. Exactly, bro. This is serious business. You're trying to work in the gaming industry. Ain't no time for fun. Ain't no time for joking around. This is the tester, not the jester, okay? Saying I'm hungry and joking about what you're seeing. I was really hungry, though. They didn't like that one. <laughs> Part of being a tester is being professional. And it shows me that you aren't focused because you're taking it lightly, it's fun. Like Petro said, we don't want the jokes to come in and be a distraction from the task at hand. So they're taking this like super seriously, right? And the funny thing is, it's probably actually like this. Like if you're a games tester and your supervisor walks past and see you actually having fun with the game rather than constantly ramming your character into every wall imaginable to see if it breaks, you'll probably get pulled aside. Ain't no fun in games over at PlayStation. You wanna have a good time, go over to Nintendo, all right? There's a time for jokes, but there's a time to be serious and buckle down and show the panel, hey, I'm a serious guy, I want this. They were playing spot the difference.
they were playing spot the difference. I want this. There's a two and a five. The star. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just can't. That was one joke that had nothing to do with the contest and they held the grudge. I'm in line with Doc here. They took this way out of proportion. He said, I'm hungry. Can't a guy be hungry? Come on. The three lowest scores and those who are probably in the most danger of going home tonight are Barmy, Fame Girl, and Ronnie. Barmy? What happened, me? I thought you were gathering intel. Hearing that I have a low score is driving me insane. I... <sighs> So it's not a coincidence that they have a driving game in the background, right? Game girl, you scored a seven. Not great, but you were very descriptive in all of your answers. Yo, that's what I was saying. She was legit like, Good night, good night, parting be such sweet sorrow that I should say good night till it be morrow. There's a star next to the L. He did score a six. If you had to do it again, would you do something differently? I'm sure I would. I don't know right now what I would, but I'll, that's just it. I would think about exactly now Okay, this guy's actually nervous. I kind of feel bad for him. What I really want is for the judges to see that if I'm stressed out, it's because I'm taking this so very seriously. What is his accent? Serious question. What is his accent? Can someone in the comments tell me? Because I don't know. I feel like he's trying to do a British accent, but I genuinely don't know. Plus, his name is Barmy. So, like, that's like a British thing, right? So, I don't... What? I don't understand this man. Oh, and I'll say this. Parrots are zygodactyl. Two toes forward, two toes backward. Thank you for that information. Okay, yeah, so he said that useless fact, right? But this guy's reaction was so unnecessarily high in frustration. I don't get it. We have uh, come to our conclusion and, and two of you will be going home tonight. Two? Bruh, it's about to be peak. I thought they were only gonna give it a one. Like Cal said, we're, we're not just looking at scores. So at this point, my guess for who's going out is Ronnie and Doc. Because even though Doc wasn't in the bottom three, they really ripped into this guy. I have a feeling they just don't like him. This was a pressure-filled situation. And uh, one of you clearly couldn't handle the pressure. Ronnie, sorry. Your game ends here. Oh, sorry, Ronnie. I know that this is, isn't the only door to get into PlayStation, so... Uh, you will see me again. Man, F PlayStation. You kick me out of the tester? I ain't ever working for you. I'm about to be Xbox's number one advocate. There are still two more contestants in our bottom two that are in danger of going home tonight. I, I need to stay here. I have a dream and I'm going to see it through. <sighs> the old I have a dream routine. <laughs> We're looking for someone with attention to detail. I want to bring someone in who can hit the ground running, take good notes. You guys each got to speak up for yourself. We've decided. Barmy, unfortunately, your game ends here. Sorry. Oh, my man Barmy didn't make it. What that strategizing and reading the instruction booklets, and for what? To get sent home. What did I say that was? I said I was an L. They felt that the stress was too much for me. I want to disagree. Bro, you scored six points in a minute and a half. That's one difference spotted every 15 seconds. If it wasn't stress that got to you, it was something. I'm excited to be able to get back to my family. He wins best dressed, at least. Persephone and Alistair, although I know you're too young. <laughs> oh, he's actually crying. I love you both very much. And I hope you're proud that I made it this far. This far? Bro, you got kicked out on the first day. Or is it just talking about the distance of the flight? Pretty intense day, huh? <laughs> well, it's only gonna get harder. This dude's like, yeah, it is. <laughs> PlayStation is looking for the best of the best, and they will not settle for less in their next game tester. The thing is, though, do you want the best of the best, or do you want someone who's average so that it will represent what it's like when the average person plays your game? The judges have blessed me with a second chance, so I am not planning on being in the bottom again. Go on then, fame girl, you got it. Okay, so the first thing I have seen in this here picture. <laughs> Next week on The Tester. For today's challenge, we're going to be testing your ability to communicate effectively. Goop, I need you to go straight. Stop, Goop. This is just reminding me of my biggest problem with this show when I was watching it. Where are the video games? What is this? It's looking like some bootleg sports day. We're all on the same page here. I'm sorry. 
You will not be the next PlayStation game tester. Turn in your badge and exit. And there we have it. A PlayStation Network original show. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see me check out the next episode where they're playing about in the freaking hamster wheels, then be sure to leave a like on this video so I know you guys want it and subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on if you haven't already so you get notified of when that video comes out. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I mean, whoa.